Hi everybody, welcome to Brandon on Tech. Today we're going to talk about the Tidbit. This is a great little piece of tech that I keep on my desk. Shows me pieces of information throughout the day. Um, very compact, pixelated display. Uh, it sits on my desktop and I've got it programmed. We're going to talk about how you can program this in the app and things you can do with it. There's even a developer program, uh, developer portal where you can program your own little widgets that you want to put on here. So we'll talk all about that. But before we get going, please subscribe and like if you find this video helpful. And let's get started. I worked from home for a long time. Um, I, I, just like anybody that has an office, you probably have things on your desk that you like a lot, that you like to keep on there, things people have given you, stuff like that. I'm kind of minimalist, and uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool to, to put together a series of videos of things that I like on my desk, things that I like to have. Um, over the years, I've, I've gone through a lot of tech, and uh, I've kind of stayed with what's on there right now. This is one of those things. I love this thing. Uh, as a matter of fact, when I first purchased this, my wife came home from work one day. She saw it and she was like, oh my God, I want one of these on my desk. So we have a couple of these throughout the house that have different things programmed on them, which is one of the cool things you can do. So things that are on my tidbit are different than things that are on hers. Um, and there's a version two coming out that I'm pretty excited about. They're they're kind of going away a little bit from the idea of just this plain box that doesn't do anything. This doesn't make any sounds. There's no alarms. It just shows pieces of information throughout the day that you can program. But they are making a version 2 that is going to make sounds um, and has not as much of a pixelated feel, I think. But still a cool upgrade. Uh, I've got one on order. I'm going to post a link to how you can order one as well. I uh, believe it's still on Kickstarter. So you can uh, link to that as well as link to the uh, Tidbit website. So this piece of tech has this little pixelated display. Right now it's showing a banana. Um, it shows me things like stock prices throughout the day. It'll show me uh, weather. I've got, I'm really into like weather. So I've got a couple of different weather widgets on here. Uh, it'll show you sports scores. It'll show you news. It'll show you... Um, cool graphic information that you might have. Uh, my wife's has a bunch of uh, funny little widgets that are on hers and, and it's got gives her directions or uh, time ETA to get to her work uh, every morning and you can even program that to have it show at different times of the day so you don't use the API as much if it's something like Google Google API where you um, might get start getting charged if, if you go beyond certain API calls. So you can limit that, which is pretty cool. Um, I believe, I think it runs off of a Raspberry Pi inside here. Uh, I haven't actually opened this up, but uh, maybe we'll open this up so you can see what it looks like inside. Uh, nice kind of wood grain box. I think right now it comes in this darker wood and then a lighter wood finish. And then the new one is going to be, I think the new one's going to be made out of plastic, which was a little bit of a bummer because I like the way this sits on my desk. Um, but yeah, it's one of the pieces that, that sits on my desk. It, uh, it's got this kind of plasticky display on the front of it. Um, I really like it a lot. I recommend it. Uh, links will be below, so check it out. And let's look at the app and see what that looks like. Okay, let's check out the app and then I'm going to open this tidbit up and we're going to see what's inside of it. So the app itself, um, iOS, Android, I'll jump right into it. This is my tidbit and you can see here that I've got these different widgets that I have currently programmed on it. Um, if I hit the menu, I can jump to other widgets or other tidbits that I've got. Or I can set up a new one. It's a Bluetooth connection, so you use Bluetooth to connect to it. Um, let's go back into mine. And then if I looked at, like, my dancing banana here, um, you could even do a schedule. So I could turn on a schedule, and I could have this particular... Um, I, I call them widgets, but I could have this widget run at different days and times. So that's kind of a cool feature. So if you... Like I was mentioning before, API... Um, usage. So sometimes if you, you're using an API to connect one of these widgets up, 
and it's a free API access, but it, if it hits a certain limit of the number of times you're calling it, you start to get charged, you can minimize that. Um, there is a Google one available where um, I show an ETA to get to a destination, and I don't want that running all the time, and I only need to see it certain times, so I use the schedule to turn that on and off. Um, if I want to add a new widget, I just hit the plus, and then they've got this little store where you can scroll through and see different ones that are available. Um, there's some ones under getting it started, and then what's new. I always like to come in here and see what's new and what's available. You'll see some of these have a little um, time indicator, and that means that um, developers are actually creating these, and it might be relying on more information before it actually shows you something. Um, if you go down to, oh, and you can search too. So if I'm looking for something in particular, there's a search capability here where you can search for certain ones, like a uh, stock. Um, if I go to that one, you might be reliant on an API to access that. Um, let me jump over to one of mine that I know runs uh, my Tempest weather. So this one actually, the station and the connected, the Tempest is connected up, is gonna rely on a, an API, excuse me, an API that um, is available from Tempest. Um, so it's great to, to kind of come in here and just create these little widgets you can, even use your own. If I go into settings, just to show you what that looks like, there's the ability to dim this at sunset, go into a night mode, set your brightness, um, the name and location of the uh, tidbit, and then there's a lab section where you can um, do your app cycle speed of how quickly it's going to cycle through these different apps. I guess they're apps, not widgets. And it looks like they're going to a subscription model for um, Tidbit Plus, which I don't know too much about. Hopefully it's not going to limit the access to Tidbit. I hope it doesn't. And uh, it's just going to remain the free version. Or maybe Tidbit Plus is going to offer something a little bit more exciting. But we'll see what happens there. Um, so that's the app. Let's look at the... Let me show you the developer portal really quick and then we'll open up the, the back of the tidbit. Here's the developer portal uh, where you can go in and there's a getting started guide available. So it shows you how you can start developing um, to make apps for your tidbit. Um, I started doing this. I, I If you're a coder and you, you kind of want to go in, I'm a wannabe coder. I try and, and, and do stuff, but um, Sometimes I, I need to take a break and do other things and um, but it is really nice to I, I did start off and I used the getting started and I started getting a little bit into it and then shiny other things got in the way and I, I started looking at other stuff. But there's some uh, Zapier integrations, there's um, little basic things that you can program like a clock just to show and then you can run it locally so you can test it all out. Um, really good application and an area where you can come in and and look at things i think it's running off of um github yeah it looks like it's uh on github so you can check that out um and see what people are putting up there so that's pretty cool as well okay let's open this up and see this is actually the first time i've opened the back of this up so i'm a little curious as well Okay, that was a regular Torx screw opening up there. Here's the inside. Um, not, uh, not a Raspberry Pi, I'm pretty sure it's not. I thought it was actually, but it's not. But this is what the inside of it looks like. So there you go. All right, so that's the tidbit. This is the first thing that I'm showing you on my desk because I really, really like it. We'll look at other things as well and talk about them and the next few weeks I'll have a series of um, the, the pieces of tech on my desk that I really like a lot. And we'll hit them all. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, respond to all my comments. And uh, 
feel free to like this video and subscribe if you found it useful. The Dancing Banana would really appreciate it as well. Uh, until next time, we'll talk to you later.